So you know how the other day I said that um, I've done three, 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 three minty beers? I had the third minty beer was the mango and mint from, from Mill Street. Yeah, I got a fourth minty beer right here. But this time it's got cucumber and apparently I'm going for a little spa retreat because I thought those two ingredients were used a lot at spas. So, uh, relaxation time? I'm down. Beer, 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 ba beer, ba beer, beer, beer. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to me, Mate Brewski, from the Rooski Brewski Review. And today, the beer that I have for you guys is by Radical Road Radical blip, 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 blip. Radical Road Brewing Company out of Toronto, Ontario. We have their cucumber mint Kolsch. Boom. Yes, it has some fancy lettering there, and it does spell out cucumber mint. Why they did that? Maybe to make it look kind of cool. I'm not a big fan of that little logo thing. It, it's kind of hard to read and understand, but they have it in nice cursive writing below. Small batch brewed, 5% alcohols by volume. How many IBUs, you may ask? Um, well, it's not in the can, which isn't a too, which isn't too too bad of a bad of a thing. Uh, but the website also shows no IBUs, so hopefully Untapped has something. And no, they don't. But seeing that it is a Kolsch, um, probably fairly low, 10 to 20, I want to say at most. Kind of just, kind of just guess, guessing there. But without further ado, cucumber mint. Let's have ourselves a little spa treatment. See what's going on. Let's crack this bad boy open. Let's see what we got. Innocent gun tulip style glass because why not? That's the one I'm using tonight. Let's see. Kolsch's lagered ales. Apparently, um, this Kolsch is, is actually, it's not, I don't know if it's trademarked, but there's some sort of law where you can't car call beers Kolsch's um, if they're not in Cologne, if I'm not mistaken. I forget the place. But yeah, if they find out that you call in a beer a Kolsch, uh, you can't legally do that apparently. So fun fact of the day, looking at the beer itself, clear? Yeah, a little bit of chill haze on there. Nice white head, nice straw golden in color. It, it's it's nothing that's gonna you know be too fancy on the on the uh, on the looks of things, but hey, cucumber mint, I'm kind of down. On the nose, it does smell exactly like that. Uh, yep, like a ooh, cucumber and peppermint. Extremely refreshing. The two don't really mix on the nose too well, but it, yeah, it smells <laughs> actually. It doesn't work that well on the nose. But at the same time, it does. It smells refreshing as all shit. It smells like I'm gonna jump into a nice, cool, like, spring lake. On a beautiful, not hot, hot summer day, but a nice, like, 20, 25 degree day. It smells like, uh, cooking ingredients. It smells... Wow, that's... It's weird how smells can just like trigger memories or just like pictures in your brain. And I'm I'm in like a tropical, not a tropical paradise, but just like an oasis of like fresh, clear running water out of a waterfall with like rainforesty vibes going on. Damn. Let's see how it tastes. Tastes like cucumber water. And, uh, and, and some mint leaves sprinkled in there too, with a little bit of a bready finish. I kind of wish it was colder. I probably should have threw it in the freezer for a little bit, but hey, I didn't do that and I kind of fucked up. Um, it's not warm by any means, but I think you'd want this like ice cold. You definitely would want this ice cold because cucumber, very refreshing. The, the mint that they're using in here, I think it's probably a, it's not a spearmint, it's not a sweet mint, it's definitely probably like a peppermint. Uh, that's the best way I can really uh, explain it uh, through cameras and audio visual technologies. Um, yeah, have it ice cold. That's definitely the one thing I gotta say. But with that said, guys, cheers everybody. Let's keep on drinking. Wow, okay. Yeah, mint, uh, minty cucumber water with a bready, and somewhat crackery uh, background. So, I mean, 
I like cucumber water. I haven't had it a lot, but some fancy places have it. Um, and cucumber water is just delicious because cucumbers are, are, are amazing. Also, fun facts about good old Ruski here is that when I was a, a young, young, young little kid, um, I couldn't pronounce cucumber, so I called it pakaka. Um, and one day in Loblaws, I said cucumber, and I was like, Dad, Dad, I said cucumber, and he, he was looking at, at, I think, bag of chips or, or pop or something and just didn't really care. Getting a little off track here, but hey, fun facts of uh, Ruski, yay. Um, yeah, back to the beer. Cucumber mint kolsch. Kolsch's are actually a really good idea to, to put these kind of flavors in, like a cucumber and a mint, because they're already fairly, fairly light on flavor. They're not too um, intense in one of the other sort of, uh, sort of like regular beer, beery flavors. Um, so you, you kind of have almost like a blank canvas per se. Um, and cucumber mint does work in here. Um, then again, beer, as when you think lagers or, or kolsch's, um, they have more of a not darker note, but that's the best word I can find. It's more of a darker note compared to cucumbers and mint. So it does it does get a little awkward when you have it. Maybe it's because mine's just a touch warmer than, than it actually should be. Um, but cucumber and mint water, yeah, that's uh, probably a great refreshing thing when you put beer and when you add the beer flavors to that, it just gets a little muddled up. Um, no pun intended, um, but yeah, it's an interesting beer. The cucumber and mint shines through absolutely beautifully. It says, does it fit the beer, or should it, fit that? like I said, it should be a lot colder. I should have thrown this in the freezer for a bit, get it like just above the freezing mark, and then dive right in. But me, being impatient, I decided to crack it and review it. Um, but that's, that's the one thing, but it, it, it shines pretty well. Not for everybody, but I can see his place in the world. Cucumber and Mint Kolsch from Radical Road Brewing. There is a description and it reads, The addition of locally pressed cucumber and mint gives this classic Kolsch a refreshing twist. The low bitterness and clean malt flavor is this blonde ale. No, of this blonde ale. Okay, so is it a blonde ale or is it a Kolsch? Uh, makes it a true summer crusher. Damn straight, make sure it's ice cold. Ingredients are water, malted barley, wheat, cucumbers, hops, mint, sulfites, and yeast. I don't think I've ever seen, or very rarely do I see sulfites in beer. Interesting. On the bottom, there's a can on date, the 17th of June, 2020. So it is a little bit older of a can, but it's not too, too bad at all. Like I said, it is extremely refreshing because it tastes more or less like cucumber and mint water with uh, beer added to it, which actually that sounds worse. It's better than that, um, but essentially kind of the gist of, of it. Um, yeah, the bready and the crackery notes in the back don't really fit the light and airy flavors of cucumber and mint, but it's still extremely delicious. It, if you like cucumber, you like mint, you like cucumber and mint, you like cucumber water and mint, uh, just, you know, stuff and things, yeah, this is going to be a beer for you. On the website, RadicalRoadBrew.com, they don't really have a separate page for their beers. So I went to the craft beers, and they, they, I don't like how they did that. Beer to go, beer in the house, beer delivery, I do not like that page. Brew pub menu... Will it give you stuff? Let's see. Will it give me a better thing than the shop page? Uh, no, it's just going straight to the foods. Uh, so we're going to go actually to the shop page, and then you find Cucumber Mint Coal. She do the, you know, more information. And there is a separate description uh, uh, compared to the can, and it reads, This beer is like air conditioning in a glass. Yes, if I had it colder, I really, I fucked up on that one. Brewed with fresh cucumber and mint, this German-style lagered ale is probably one of the most refreshing beers you will ever drink. Perfect for those hot summer days. Yes. Yeah, it probably would be one of the most refreshing beers. Um, I do have to say, what there was a Coolest Cuke from 
oh geez, two, three, maybe even four years ago now, um, that Muskoka did as one of their Moonlight Kettles. That was a cucumber beer. That was damn good. This with the mint, I don't, I remember the coolest cute being a lot more refreshing um, that it compared to this, uh, but still, this is, ooh, yeah, cool your rate down. No questions to ask. Uh, anything else on the website that I forgot to mention? Uh, we got pricing, we'll get to that in a hot minute. Um, and it, but it does not actually tell you the ABV or IBUs. You can see the ABV in the picture, but no, uh, no type C type stuff on the actual, uh, you know, description and things. It just, I guess, fine if you can still see it. Yeah, it counts. Untapped, uh, Cucumber Mint Kolsch has been given a 3.42 bottle caps out of 5. And that's out of just over 1,400 ratings. Not too bad. If you want to pick up Cool as Cu- Not Cool as Cuke. Oh my god, I'm getting them all mixed up. If you want to pick up Cucumber and Mint Kolsch at your local LCBO, you're going to be running $3.20 for the 473 ml can so not too bad of a price and see this is why i always compare sometimes or i have been comparing the prices on brewery websites because at the brewery website it's going to cost you 330 a whole dime more than if you just go to your lcbo why that is i'm still not too sure but hey it happens um it looks like right now or that the options that they're giving me you get a 12 pack for 35.35 or a 24 pack for 69.91 plus tax. So uh, there's a thing. Yeah, cool. Shipping info, uh, probably. Oh, free local delivery for 61 dollars and over. Um, that's a seven kilometer radius of the brewery. So if you're outside of Toronto downtown, the seven kilometers. Uh, well. Shipping is going to be fun. Um, but yeah, you know what? Not too bad of a price. Don't know why there's a discrepancy between singles on the website versus singles at your LCBO. Doesn't make sense to me. I'll probably learn that in the next few months of uh, the, uh, the, the last two semesters of my program. Well, I'll just ask that question. But damn, you know what? It's a good beer. Not for everybody, but... I'm a big fan of cucumbers. I don't mind a little bit of mint here and there, and it just works. Not as good as the coolest cute from years ago, but damn, you know what? Cucumber beers, especially in using a light, you know, a lighter style like a lager or a Kolsch or something like that, works absolutely perfect. So with that said, guys, cheers on the final sip. Let's get right into drinks and wrap this thing up. Cucumber Mint Kolsch by Radical Road. The aroma, straight up, cucumber's mint, good to go. Taste, cucumber's mint, bready and crackery in the finish. It gets them all together a little bit, but I think that was just my fault as it's not freezing or, you know, almost freezing at this beer. It needs to be drank extremely, extremely cold to get that super refreshing notes that you get from cucumber and mint. And no, that is not science, that's just, that's just my humble opinion. But overall, a solid, solid beer. Enjoyed it, a little muddled uh, for the temperature that I had it, but hey, you know, solid 7.4 out of 10 for me. As for presentation, colors are perfect. Uh, I don't like how they did the, uh, the, the cucumber mint sort of thing here. It kind of looks a little not my style, kind of silly, but hey, you can still read what it says. They do it in cursive. You got a uh, description, you have ingredients, you have an ABV, no IBUs, but you do have a clearly labeled canned on date on the bottom. Easy to read, no problems there. As for the website, kind of bummed they don't have a, a real dedicated beer page, but you go to the shop thing um, and you do find a separate description, a couple pictures of the beer itself with, ooh, they're garnishing it with a cucumber. Uh, the side of the glass there actually not a bad bad idea pretty good weird pour though there's a lot of head in that pour but hey what can you do no ibus no abv list you just gotta read it from the uh, picture um and then yep pretty straightforward pricing and all that jazz very simple looking website good stuff overall presentation gets a solid 7.5 out of 10 for me
Before I leave you guys, if you have any comments, questions, or beers you want to review in the future, you can leave all of that information down in the comment box below. If you want to go ahead and like this video or subscribe to me, Mate Bruce, it's going to be greatly appreciated as well. And with all that said, that's going to do it for me, Mate Bruce. Like I always say, crack a beer and enjoy. Cheers. Cucumber mint, obviously a little nervous, but hey, they kind of did it pretty damn well. Ooh, let's pour this beer and not spill. We're good to go. Cheers.